Everyone online seems to be hyping up hacking tools and techniques, claiming they're your golden ticket to becoming a pro hacker. But when you start digging in, it's overwhelming. Where do you even start? It's like there's a flood of information, but no one actually gives you a clear path forward. You end up feeling lost, stuck with incomplete tutorials, or let's be real, someone just trying to sell you another overpriced course. I know how frustrating this can be because I've been there. Not long ago, I was just like you, eager to learn about hacking, but completely confused about what tools to use, what commands to master, and how to actually apply them in real world scenarios. Now, after mastering the process, I wanna give back by sharing what I wish I had when I was starting in my hacking journey. In this guide, I'll walk you through exactly how to start hacking effectively step by step so you understand each phase of the process. Whether it's websites, mobile apps, or computer systems you're targeting, it doesn't matter. I'll teach you the process. That's the foundation to all hacking. This isn't another vague list of random tools. It's a practical, no BS approach that's easy to follow and actionable from day one. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of the hacking process and the best tools for success in the world of hacking. No more guesswork, no more random scanning, just a precise, systematic approach that works every single time. Disclaimer, this content is intended for educational purposes only. Hacking or penetration testing should only be conducted in legal environments with proper authorization. Unauthorized access to systems or networks is illegal and punishable by law. Always ensure you have explicit permission before performing any security testing. Now let's break the process down phase by phase. Phase one, reconnaissance. Reconnaissance is where elite hackers spend 80% of their time gathering intelligence without alerting their target. Skipping this phase is like playing chess blindfolded. You can't move effectively without understanding the board. To dominate reconnaissance, you'll only need these two tools. Tool number one, Recon NG, automating the intelligence hunt. Recon NG takes reconnaissance to another level by automating the entire process. This framework can run 24 seven gathering data across networks, correlating information, and even generating professional grade reports. It ties everything together, saving you hours of manual work while ensuring nothing slips through the cracks. With tools like these, reconnaissance becomes more than just information gathering. It's the backbone of your entire engagement. By the time you finish this phase, you'll know your target better than they know themselves. Tool number two, Maltego, turning data into actionable intelligence. Maltego focuses on the human and organizational side. This tool pulls together scattered information and creates a visual map of relationships between domains, organizations, people, and even their digital footprints. Enter a single domain name and Maltego uncovers connections you didn't know existed. From email patterns to cloud services, it's like having a detective piecing together the puzzle for you. Professionals use Maltego to prepare for social engineering, map attack surfaces, and evaluate third-party risks that often go unnoticed. Next up, the phase where we turn this blueprint into actionable data. Phase two, active scanning. This is where 90% of hackers fail. Not because they can't scan, but because they don't know what to look for. Now that reconnaissance has given us a blueprint of the target, it's time to actively probe for weak points. This phase is about precision, not guesswork. Scanning goes beyond passive observation and dives deep into identifying vulnerabilities. Think of it as analyzing the structural flaws in a building before deciding how to approach. Tool number one, a map the professional's go-to network mapper. Nmap is one of the most reliable tools for ethical hackers and for good reason. It helps you quietly scan and map out entire networks, revealing all the devices connected to it and how they interact. It's like having a blueprint of your target's digital infrastructure. One of Nmap's most useful features is service detection. It doesn't just tell you what services are running, it digs deeper, identifying the specific versions and even uncovering hidden or misconfigured setups. It also includes OS fingerprinting, which lets you figure out what operating systems are in use on the target without triggering alarms. And the best part? You can use Nmap to run quick vulnerability scans to spot weak points early on, making the rest of your testing much easier. Professionals rely on Nmap for a variety of tasks. Stealth scanning during red team operations, initial network reconnaissance, or even troubleshooting tricky network setups. With just one command, you can uncover critical details that set the stage for your next steps. Tool number two, Wireshark, the Packet Whisperer. Wireshark is the go-to tool for analyzing network traffic. It's like having a magnifying glass for every packet that flows through a network. Whether it's identifying protocols, spotting suspicious activity, or dissecting encrypted traffic, Wireshark ensures you understand the data at a granular level. Imagine watching real-time traffic flow across a corporate network. You can spot abnormal behaviors, detect protocol violations, and even uncover misconfigurations that create security gaps. Professionals use Wireshark not just for scanning but also for forensic investigations and network troubleshooting. Tool number three, Aircrack NG, mastering wireless infrastructures. While Wireshark handles wired networks, Aircrack NG dominates the wireless world. 
This suite allows you to assess Wi-Fi security like a pro. Whether it's capturing packets, injecting data, or testing encryption protocols, Aircracken G gives you complete control over wireless network assessments. Want to test a network's defenses? This tool uncovers rogue access points, analyzes encryption weaknesses, and simulates attacks to reveal vulnerabilities. From WEP to WPA to PSK, Aircrack NG proves whether a network is as secure as it claims. By the end of this phase, you'll know exactly where a system is vulnerable. You've moved from understanding the target to identifying its weaknesses. Next, it's time to exploit those vulnerabilities and gain access. We are only halfway through the pro hacking process, and you might already be feeling overwhelmed by all the tools and commands. Don't worry, I've got you covered. To help you cut through the noise, I've put together the ultimate pro hacking cheat sheet. This isn't just a powerful list of commands at your fingertips. It's a complete guide packed with the most effective workflows and strategies tailored for every scenario, whether you're targeting a website, mobile app, or computer system. No more guessing or wasting time figuring out what works. Get step-by-step -step guidance and proven techniques that professionals rely on. You can find the link in the comments. Phase 3. Gaining access. This is where the real action begins. Armed with reconnaissance data and scanning results, you now exploit vulnerabilities to gain entry. This phase isn't about brute force, it's about strategy and stealth. Let me show you the top tools hackers use during this phase. Metasploit. The professional's exploitation framework. Metasploit is more than an exploitation tool. It's an entire framework for penetration testing. Whether you're crafting payloads or bypassing security measures, Metasploit lets you exploit vulnerabilities with precision. Its advanced features allow you to create custom exploits, evade detection, and deploy strategic attacks. Professionals use Metasploit for everything from initial access testing to post-exploitation assessments. It's the Swiss army knife of gaining access. Hydra, the password cracker's scalpel. When you encounter password-protected systems, Hydra becomes your best friend. It's not just about brute-forcing passwords, it's about doing it intelligently. Hydra tests multiple protocols, analyzes password strength, and adapts to complex authentication mechanisms. Need to validate weak credentials across multiple services? Hydra does it efficiently, helping you expose flaws in password policies and rate-limiting controls. Nikto, your web server detective. Web servers are often treasure troves of vulnerabilities, and Nikto is the tool to uncover them. It scans for outdated software, server misconfigurations, and security flaws that could compromise an entire application. Point Nikto at a server, and it reveals everything from dangerous files to security header issues. For ethical hackers, it's a game changer in web application testing. It helps validate findings, ensures compliance, and provides a clear picture of a server's security posture. SQL Map, the SQL injection hunter. When it comes to databases, SQL Map is the ultimate weapon. This tool automates SQL injection testing and lets you exploit vulnerabilities with precision. From extracting sensitive data to escalating privileges, SQL Map turns database flaws into actionable opportunities. Imagine running SQL Map on a vulnerable server. It doesn't just find weak points, it exploits them, giving you access to hidden information and critical data. For ethical hackers, it's a must-have for web application assessments. Once access is gained, the next challenge is maintaining it. This brings us to the crucial phase of persistence. Phase 4. Maintaining access. Gaining access is one thing, keeping it undetected is another. This phase focuses on persistence, ensuring you remain connected even if the system is rebooted or updated. Netcat. The Swiss Army knife of networking. Netcat allows you to create persistent connections that survive system changes. With its advanced tunneling techniques, Netcat establishes covert communication channels and ensures access points remain active. Professionals use Netcat to manage long-term connections, set up backup entry points, and maintain stealth throughout engagements. Empire Framework – Advanced Persistence Techniques The Empire Framework takes persistence to a whole new level. It offers stealthy post-exploitation capabilities, including system-wide access maintenance and administrator-level evasion techniques. Whether you're simulating an advanced persistent threat or ensuring long-term access, Empire provides the tools to operate without detection. At this stage, you're not just a visitor in the system, you're part of its fabric, but having access isn't enough. To truly dominate, you need to escalate privileges. Phase 5. Privilege Escalation Privilege escalation is where you turn limited access into total system control. It's the difference between being a guest and owning the house. John the Ripper. Cracking credentials like a pro. John the Ripper is more than a password cracker. It's a privilege escalation engine. It deciphers password hashes, recognizes complex patterns, and converts them into usable credentials. By targeting weak passwords and hashing algorithms, you can unlock higher levels of access and take over critical accounts. Powersploit, the Windows Escalation Master. For Windows environments, Powersploit is essential. It detects misconfigured services, improperly set access tokens, and exploitable tasks, all of which can be leveraged to escalate privileges. With Powersploit, you systematically climb the privilege ladder, gaining control over entire networks. Once you've achieved full control, the focus shifts to covering your tracks. Phase 6. Covering Tracks 
the key to professional hacking isn't just success, it's leaving no trace. Covering tracks ensures that your presence remains undetected, even during forensic investigations. Let me share a secret tool for this phase. Timestamp. Manipulating file timestamps. Timestamp lets you erase your digital footprints by altering file timestamps. It's an essential tool for ensuring system logs don't betray your activities. By the time you finish this phase, it will be as if you were never there. Now, it's time to exfiltrate data without triggering alarms. Phase 7. Exfiltration. Exfiltration is the art of moving data undetected. It's not just about extraction, it's about stealth. DNSCAT 2. Covert Data Tunneling. DNSCAT 2 uses DNS tunneling to create encrypted channels for moving data. Even in networks with strict firewalls, this tool ensures secure and undetectable data transfer. At this stage, you've completed the technical aspects, but to truly deliver value, you need to present your findings professionally. Phase 8. Post-exploitation. The final phase is about turning your discoveries into actionable insights. This is where you prove business impact and help organizations strengthen their defenses. Burp Suite Professional, reporting made easy. Burp Suite isn't just for scanning web vulnerabilities, it's a powerful tool for presenting your findings. It translates technical data into business risks, generates professional reports, and creates visuals that executives can understand. We've covered a lot in this video, and I know it can feel overwhelming trying to remember all these tools and commands. But don't worry, I've got your back. To help you make sense of it all, I've created the ultimate pro hacking cheat sheet. It's a complete guide with all the most powerful commands, workflows, and strategies you'll need, whether you're targeting websites, mobile apps, or computer systems. If you're looking to make the most of what you've learned today and move forward with confidence, you might find it useful. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Happy hacking.